Hello everyone. Uh, Nikolai Rosalimo was an American, French, Greek, Russian grandmaster. Oh yeah, and uh, they called him the artist of chess. Uh, he defeated players like uh, like Efim Bogolyubov, uh, David Bronstein, uh, Max Juve, and managed to draw games uh, against players like uh, Jose Rol Capablanca, Bobby Fischer, and uh, Vasily Smyslov. So definitely quite a guy. And similarly to uh, to Nezhmetinov, he won plenty of brilliancy prizes and best game awards. And uh, this game, he, uh, this game he's playing against uh, Paul Reisman. It, it was played in 1967 in Puerto Rico. So let's see this uh, Rosalimo artistry. Uh, we have e4 by Rosalimo and e5 by Reisman. Knight to f3, knight to c6, and bishop to c4, the Italian game. Bishop to c5, and now c3. Uh, knight to f6, d4, e captures and d4, c captures and d4, and bishop to b4 check. And uh, Rosalimo plays bishop to d2, not going for knight c3 and uh, trying to go for the Greco attack. Uh, bishop captures on d2, knight captures on d2, and now d5. A very strong move, uh, breaking breaking white center immediately. Uh, e captures on d5, and we have knight captures on d5. And queen to b3, now with a double attack on this knight. So, uh, uh, Reisman plays uh, knight c2, e7, and uh, Rosalimo castles. And we have c6. Uh, Rosalimo goes rook f to e1, and uh, Reisman castles. And now a4. And this a4 Rosalimo uses as an attacking idea, to, uh, actually, to attack on the king side, and uh, you'll see how he does it. Uh, we have b6, uh, knight to e5, uh, bishop to b7, developing, and uh, now uh, a5, because uh, now, now this uh, pawn cannot be captured as the bishop here would fall. Uh, we have rook to c8, and now knight to e4. And see how Rosalimo uh, uh, gets his pieces closer and closer to the enemy king. We have uh, king to c7, and now a6, pushing that bishop to a8, and, uh, well, uh, it's a very nice positional move, the pawn will be good on a6. Uh, we have bishop to a8, and now Rosalimo plays queen to h3, bringing the queen into the attack. And already you can see both knights are ready to jump into the attack, this bishop is eyeing f7, queen is eyeing h7, something is, uh, well, bound to happen. Uh, so Reisman gets an idea, he plays a knight to f4 with an attack on the queen, we have queen to g4, and now the other knight jumps into d5, so improving the position of both knights. And uh, now Rosalimo plays rook to a3, and he's preparing the maneuver rook to a3 and rook to g3 or h3, depending on depending on the position. And uh, Reisman says, okay, he's definitely gonna play rook g3 and attack g7. I don't really want to play g6 or push any pawns here to, you know, to mess up my pawn structure. I'm gonna play knight to e6, and this protects uh, g g7 very nicely. Uh, but here Rosalimo shows why he was called the artist of chess. Uh, he plays bishop captures on d5. We have c captures on d5, and now Rosalimo plays knight to f6 check. Uh, of course, the knight can be captured as, uh, as there's a pin from the queen, and we have king to h8. <clears throat> and uh, this is why I called the game uh, the American Beauty reversed uh, because uh, Rosalimo plays. Well, there are a lot of winning moves here, uh, but Rosalimo definitely plays the the most beautiful winning move. He plays queen to g6, and uh, similar similarly to Frank Marshall, where he played queen to g3 with the black pieces. Uh, Rosalimo's queen is also immortal here uh, because let's see, if f captures on g6, you'd get knight captures on g6 with check. Uh, there's the king can go to g8, so only move is h captures on g6, and now rook to h3, checkmate of course. And uh, after a queen to g6, if h pawn captures, then rook to h3 is checkmate immediately. Uh, but even if black doesn't capture the queen, for example, if he captures the knight with g captures on f6, then g uh, queen captures on f6 with check. Uh, king has to go to g8. Uh, I mean, king can go to g8 because of rook to g3 uh, with checkmate. Uh, he has to play knight to g7, and now rook to g3, and uh, how do you defend mate on g7? Only move is rook g8, and now comes knight to uh, knight captures on f7 with check, and uh, black has to give up the queen. So, <clears throat> the only thing wrong with this game is that uh, Paul Reisman didn't resign in this position, like, like Marshall's opponent did. Uh, but he played one more move, uh, queen to c2, with the hopes of defending this h7 square with the queen, uh, but Rosalimo simply brings this rook finally in, uh, to h3, and in this position Paul Reisman resigned. Uh, because, <clears throat> well, the threat is now definitely rook captures on h7 with checkmate, and if uh, 
even if black captures the queen with queen captures then again knight captures queen with uh, check and the king can go anywhere uh, we have uh, f captures on g6 and now rook captures on h7 is checkmate so yeah uh, definitely a beautiful game and definitely they called him the artist uh, i mean it, it's justified <clears throat> but uh, I, I i would i would prefer if the game ended uh, after queen to g6 so yeah uh, definitely a beautiful game and uh, yeah a beautiful game uh, thank you all for watching and uh, as usual you can check two of my previous videos here uh, but i will make the top left video uh, the original american beauty game by frank marshall if you haven't seen it yet so yeah that's it guys thank you all for watching and uh, i will see you soon